Uh, today we are dealing with what's left of accumulating snow, our first decent snowfall here across central Indiana. We've had uh, some dustings here or there, but we picked up a little over two inches of snow officially at the airport in Indianapolis. The snow beginning to come to an end. Still some light snow from Richmond down towards Greensburg and Seymour, and that's where we'll start. So there certainly could be some slick spots uh, from Columbus down into the Seymour area and points to the south, and then from Seymour to North Vernon over towards Versailles and then up towards the Greensburg area. Uh, but this is generally a pretty light snow, and with temperatures still in the upper 20s. Uh, salt working very effectively on the roadway, so that is certainly good news. Some snow showers in Franklin as well as Greenwood. Some light, steady snow still in Rushville and again over towards Connorsville and into the Richmond area. So if you are traveling, the slickest roadways are probably going to be I-70 as you move through Wayne County and then I-74 as you make your way out of Shelbyville down towards the Greensburg area. But look at this. Back off to our west. The skies are cloudy, but we are not dealing with any precipitation from Kokomoto Lafayette down towards Crawford and here in the metro area, just a few flurries remain. This whole system is now starting to shift off to the east. Certainly good news. You can look back off to the west, and there's not much going on. Yeah, there could be a few flurries from time to time this afternoon. Uh, but overall, it's just going to be a mostly cloudy day for us. And our focus will really shift now from the potential of snow, which we have already seen, to tumbling temperatures as they'll really start to fall here throughout the course of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Here we are at 730. At this point, the sun will have set. Temperatures likely will be in the teens with a few flurries around. So the current temperatures are in the 20s in most areas, 28 in Indianapolis, uh, down to 23 in Lafayette, and then teens from Gary to Chicago. You factor in the wind, which will be picking up throughout the course of the day today, and wind chill values already in the teens. So certainly bundle up, give your little uh, self a little extra time, not only on the roadways because of the snow that's on them, but also because of these chilly temperatures. And eight right now in Minneapolis, that's about where we will end up tomorrow morning for our low temperatures. So the coldest air of the season. I know we've been talking about these cold temperatures, but the coldest has yet to arrive. That is going to be overnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. So temperatures pretty steady in the mid 20s here, actually, as we go throughout the course of the morning and into the afternoon hours. And then those temperatures really start to fall off here later on this evening. Once again, we talk the coldest air of the season. We keep matching ourselves. Unfortunately, it's still fall and not winter yet, but it feels more like winter. So how cold tonight? Let's answer that question for you. Overnight tonight, I think temperatures in Indianapolis will dip to around nine degrees. So the single digits for some of us, and then we'll see temperatures uh, actually feel a little colder because we're dealing with very low wind chills for you. So the very low wind chills for you tomorrow morning. Let's talk about it. The coldest temperatures of the season with sub zero wind chills. So the temperature at around nine, but feeling more like about five degrees sub zero for you. Your Tuesday morning, I think temperatures are bitter cold to start. I think we start out at around nine to 11 degrees by about 11 and we're mostly sunny. I think we see temperatures at around 17. The overall high tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds. I think a little more sunshine throughout the afternoon with a temperature of about 20 degrees. Where do we go from here? Well, we'll have a brief kind of uh, spike in the temperatures, if you can call it that, on Wednesday at around 33 degrees. So uh, above freezing for us at that point. But on Thursday, temperatures fall again. We're only down to 29. Unfortunately, that 29 degree day, well, we'll have another one on Friday. So temperatures in the upper 20s for Thursday and Friday. What about the weekend? Already looking ahead to next weekend. Hey, we'll see a pretty nice warm up for us. 44 degrees on Sunday. Not out of the question that many areas see temperatures in the upper 40s, near 50 degrees. So it's a pretty nice warm up. It sticks around with us on Monday and here it all is put together. The seven day planning forecast temperatures below freezing for most of the week. Uh, I do think that the snow is slowly moving out this morning, but with the snow on the ground that makes it difficult for temperatures to warm not only today, but as another cold blast of air moves in tomorrow, that's an issue for us as well. Plenty of sunshine on Thursday and Friday and the warmest day of the seven day planning forecast. My pick of the week. I think I'm going to go with next Sunday at 44 degrees with a few rain showers.